सो दिस इज अवेंटी डब्ल्यू फिफ्टी ए पी आई एस एल स्लैश सी एस Hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video i am not going to fix anything or uh, do anything on the car but i will just talk i will talk about the engine oil which engine oil you should choose or how to see the engine oil will put uh, will be compatible with your engine or not or everything uh, related to that uh, why i am uh, going to talk on this because in the last, uh, last video i uh, changed the oil ring on the distributor and uh, fixed the oil leakage on this thing on the engine and also i noticed that the oil is losing its a property of lubrication that uh, the lubricity which is called in a scientific language so i thought it will be a good time to change the engine oil so i looked on the youtube like everyone uh, does uh, which uh, which oil to choose and everything but i do not get any satisfactory answer for that i will uh, tell you everything about engine oil but for our indian cars only it will be a universal but i will tell you in with respect to the indian cars actually i bought the engine oil for the car uh, i go over all this uh, stuff specifications and everything which grade which i should buy for this car and everything so i will tell step by step how i do it and also tell other things as well the in general stuff that you should consider so first of all look in the in, uh, cars owner manual or the bikes owner manual which have, which vehicle you have uh, it uh, it will be same for both two wheeler and uh, four wheeler so check out for that uh, you will uh, you will definitely find the amount of oil it takes and uh, uh, which grade of oil is uh, required for the engine this two thing will be definitely in the uh, owner's manual or the service manual of the car or uh, bike or any vehicle you have so now if i talk specifically for this car uh, it uh, in the owner's manual it gives the gra graph of uh, engine viscosity and the temperature uh, i will put on the screen here in that uh, we have uh, 20 w50 and uh, 15w40 and uh, 5w40 uh, type uh, these three grades but uh, it shows the arrows on which the oil grade is written and there is a temperature uh, line is drawn uh, bottom at the bottom uh, which shows the temperature so in india the normal uh, temperature in winters is around uh, 25 to 20 degrees and in summer season it's around 40 degree the graph shows the arrows uh, it starts from negative temperature towards positive temperature which shows that uh, the grade for for that grade particular grade the lubricity will be uh, enough for protection of the engine from negative temperature to that given positive temperature and that's the meaning of the graph so this is the engine oil which i bought so that's two thing you have to consider the first is this grade 20w50 another is a api grade sl slash cf and another you have to see which uh, the oil is compatible which with which engines because there is a two types engine also cng and lpg kits also came with the engine so you have to see that also and also this is a mineral oil this is not a synthetic Uh, why i choose a synthetic because uh, this car do not uh, run every day it do not travel any few hundred kilometers every day so the kilometers on the oil is not uh, uh, increasing that much that's why i going with mineral oil and mineral oil will be the cheap rate uh, than the synthetic synthetic is used for that uh, commercial vehicles like taxi cabs and everything because they have to run too much kilometer every day so that that engine that synthetic oil will provide more protection to the engine and it it will also protect it from wear and tear this will also protect it but there is a little bit less protection because engine is not going to run that much so that's the thing between the natural and synthetic so this is a 20w50 now the number b, uh, before w means this is a uh, viscosity when the when the oil is at a very cold temperature like negative temperature zero or anything uh, 10 to 20 to 30 degree celsius this is the 50 Uh, which shows the uh, viscosity grade of the oil when the engine is at running temperature or that or much higher temperature first you have to see in the owner's manual you will get the perfect grade which is usable for your engine and you buy it now one question may arise in your head that uh, this is a 20w50 now if what i take uh, 10w60 let's say that it will be a more uh, it will give more lubrication to engine no that's not the case because the lower number that is the winter number uh, will be get lower 
means whenever the engine is cold the oil will get dense but in this mineral oil this oil engine oil it uh, there is a uh, viscosity modifiers add in the oil which uh, changes the viscosity of the oil that means whenever the engine is cold it will be harder for engine to pull the viscous oil from the oil pan which is at the bottom of the engine to the head of the engine that is at the cam sender uh, cam sender valves that's why we use lower grade there so at cold temperature the oil will be more thin and it will flow fast but if you go fed go with 10 or 5 or 0 then the oil will fail to give the lubrication because viscosity of the oil is so th uh, so low that it will not provide proper the protection to the uh, parts and uh, wear and tear will happen so that's why we should not go, uh, go out of that spec if i go with 30 or the 40 w then there will be another problem arise that engine will not get as thin as it should be and the oil engine oil pump will not able to pull the engine uh, pull the oil from the pan to that head so that's why the 20w this number is go for that and now if we talk the another number that is 50 uh, it shows the viscosity at the uh, engine when it is a running temperature or the environment is very hot so let's say the environment is 45 degree or 50 degree and the engine is running at uh, operating temperature so we need the lubrication now as as we know that uh, this viscosity viscous fluid loses its viscosity and become thinner as the temperature increases so if the oil get thin then it will not provide proper protection to the engine parts and wear and tear happen so this viscosity modifies increases the viscosity and make the oil thick so that it provides lubrication and reduces the wear and tear so that's all these two number do so i prefer to go with the owner's manual they show perfect and they write that number after so many experiments and everything so that number is proper so go with that number uh, it will be okay but if uh, sometimes happens that the engine oil is uh, uh, given in the owner's manual is not longer available then what you can do is so let's say this 20w50 is no longer available now in the market and the, there will be 10w60 is available let's say for that so 10w will be okay it will uh, do the work but there will be chances of more wear and tear than 20w so i can go with 15 or 10 but uh, you cannot go with zero uh, when you have 20w50 is a specific rate then you cannot go with zero w anything so this is the one thing for with a lower number now for higher number that is 50 uh, i cannot go with the 30 because 40 can do the work 50 is best and the 60 will be the better but uh, 60 will be more dense it can be more dense for the engine and the pump so you can go with 55 available then 60 will also do the work but you cannot go with 40 or 30 because it will provide less lubrication and the wear and tear will happen so that's all with this upper grade i hope you will clear with this grade the 20w50 stands for what w is for winter 20 is for lower uh, low temperature viscosity and 50 is uh, high temperature viscosity higher the number higher the viscosity and the lower the number low viscosity at low temperature the engine will uh, need to pull the oil from low temperature uh, lower point to higher point so we need to the thin, we need thinner liquid for that and for high temperature we need a more viscous liquid because of protection so that's all it for this now the second grade is api grade that you can see that it is written here api sl slash cf you can see that it is a grade for the uh, how newer the oil is means the technology of the oil first of all s and c it stands for spark ignition and the compression ignition that is uh, for petrol and the diesel engine and as the number as the second letter goes up that is abcd in chronology the newer the technology will be now for uh, older engine s a s b s e s j that's types of api grade is used but uh, now the newer engine uses s l s j and s i api grades so that is a uh, one thing uh, if your car is more aged that is uh, around 90s 50s or 1960s you cannot use any of the newer oil that is sl or S sj you have to go with sc sd or se grade because that's what is used in that engines 
this is uh, somewhat 2000s 2002 or 3 model so i can use sl engine it will be compatible and it will work for the engine so the old oil that is in the in the engine is uh, losing its viscosity is losing its lubricating property so i i am changing it i'll show you how the oil is so this is the oil hope you can see it is getting black dark so it is getting the black but as i uh, as i added the oil uh, this uh, 20w40 i uh, used this to top up sometime because of the oil leak happening the oil has its little bit of property of lubrication but uh, i think it is better to change it with the proper uniform oil because i don't know the grade which is inside the oil right inside the engine right now so now if we talk about the uh, which company you should choose so i think uh, you should uh, ask the person where you buying this uh, uh, oil because they know more better because they get more feedbacks and everything and they also uh, have some knowledge about different engine oils around different uh, companies so you should ask them uh, i asked them they, uh, they tell me that shell uh, this shell company is uh, more better in this engine oil uh, thing and it is good uh, and also one thing that you should not buy the engine oil from that uh, part dealer uh, that is uh, like uh, for maruti suzuki that is mgp and uh, hyundai and everything else the that uh, genuine part dealer because they will uh, give you for more price than it is available in the market of that same oil so i suggest you to buy the engine oil from the uh, oil dealer that the person uh, has its own agency that uh, sells different oils uh, at the shop of different companies so you will be get benefit there with the price and you uh, and also that this is a mineral oil because this car do not uh, run that much per day uh, as compared to that of uh, cabs and uh, commercial vehicles that's why they use synthetic uh, which provide more protection and more life than this mineral oil so and also this mineral oil will be cheap than that of synthetic as usual this is around 1000 rupees and that will be around 2500 to 3000 rupees for the same uh, amount of oil so that's also one thing you should consider about and that's it and uh, everything more on the how to change the oil i will tell you i will make that video it will be coming up soon so that's all about uh, if you have any questions comments down in the section if you like this video and get any knowledge around cars then please uh, subscribe and share it with your friends and like the video thank you